Hey everyone, thanks for visiting us this morning at arklatexhomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Morses with your Tuesday morning forecast updates. Starting the day out dry, and it looks like we will be dry today. Only about a 10% chance of seeing a pop-up shower tonight, and after that, we should be dry through Saturday. So the much-needed dry weather pattern looks like it is going to play out across the region, but uh, we'll see a little cloud cover at times this morning. Put satellite and radar into motion. We do have a few clouds drifting in north of I-30 here, so maybe partly cloudy to start the day. Expect that we'll see plenty of sun this afternoon and then uh, mostly cloudy conditions tonight. You can see that next cold front back towards Wichita and Oklahoma City. So that's the one that will bring some colder air into the region and just that very, very, very slight chance of rain overnight. So uh, if we do see any rain, not likely to see much as far as any accumulation. So for your Tuesday, we will start out a little bit cooler. Yesterday morning we had temperatures near 60 degrees and this morning we're all sitting in the 30s and low 40s. So pretty chilly start to the day. Visibility is in good shape, of course, with the dry air in place behind yesterday's cold front. We had uh, quite the breeze yesterday, and uh, we are going to see just lighter winds today out of the northwest, about 5 to 10 miles per hour this morning and at about 10 miles per hour this afternoon. Of course, yesterday we had the wind gusts in that 30 mile per hour range, and uh, that breeze is going to return tomorrow, so enjoy the lighter winds today. Uh, looking at temperatures this afternoon, should be in the low 60s in quite a few areas. Do have some areas along and north of I-30 that will top out in the upper 50s. It's about 59 today in Texarkana. I have Shreveport at 62 degrees, so running just a few degrees below normal. Wide view of the country. We do have some cold air that's uh, making its way down across the plains, so that is the cold air that is going to bring us a pretty chilly day tomorrow. But you can see the big ridge of high pressure out here off the California and Oregon coastlines. That is what is going to shut off the weather pattern for us uh, once we get through the night tonight and bring those dry conditions for the remainder of the week. So here's a look at future it does show a little bit of cloud cover drifting through, so at times it will be partly cloudy today. You'll see a little bit of rain trying to pop up with that next cold front tonight, but I do think the air is probably too dry out ahead of that front to squeeze out much, if any, rain. will be uh, mostly cloudy tomorrow morning, but we should see plenty of sun pop back out for your Wednesday afternoon. But tomorrow those winds will be in the 15 to 20 mile per hour range and highs will be in the 40s, so that means wind chills for your Wednesday uh, will be in the 30s for much of the day. So we'll get that better cold air back for at least one day. Going into your Thursday morning, we'll actually have temperatures in the 20s, so that will be our cold morning this week. Still expecting that nice little warm-up as we head into the weekend. Near 70 on Sunday. I've included just a very slight chance of some late-day rain on Sunday, so if you have outdoor plans, not much to worry about there during the daylight hours, and it looks like uh, showers and storms will be returning next Monday and Tuesday.